Hello everybody, we're back here on Project Hunt, and it is time. The Africa map has been released, finally. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because there's stuff like elephants, there's leopards, there's zebras, and so many other amazing things to get out here and hunt. I'm excited to see if we can find ourselves some good ones, and you know, if we're lucky, maybe even get a rare, since they do have rares for every single species on this map. So that is going to be super, super cool. I'm excited to get into this and see what we can manage to find. First of all, what is that right there? I guess it's just a cool little flower that chills there. That's uh, it's pretty sick. So this map already looks to be relatively large. Obviously, we'll learn more about it as we go, but it looks to be a pretty massive map as far as I can tell. And looky right there. What's that called? The bo the boabab tree? The, bo the boabab tree? I have no idea how to pronounce it, but... That is uh, what that is in the distance, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty cool little point of interest to go to at some point. Uh, is there just one of them? No, there's definitely more than one, I think. Yeah, I think there's definitely more than one, if I'm not mistaken, because we got that one right there. And then, yeah, yeah, there's a few of them. Okay, so that's cool. Now, let's get out there and actually try to find some animals, because I am very, very excited. I believe right now we only have a few of them unlocked. Let's see, which ones are they? Where is it? Where do I see? I've, I've completely forgot where I have to look. I think it's in one of the pause menus or something. Well, I, I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Oh, there we go. We hit the M for map. So there is, I believe that's a gazelle, warthog, and then a rabbit. So that's what we've got to shoot for now. Uh, obviously, as we kill more animals, we will unlock other animals on the map and they will start spawning in too. So that's going to be exciting. Definitely cannot wait till we get, you know, a bunch of the the big five type animals like the uh, leopards, the elephants. There's hippopotamus as well, I believe, which is pretty sick. Man, this is going to be a lot of fun. I also want to real quickly just say, you know, a huge shout out to the uh, developer. I don't know if I can access it through here, but uh, the developer DM me and asked if he could put my name in the credits for the game because of like some of the videos I've made kind of helping him out with ideas and stuff like that. So. I, I now have my name in the credits of Project Hunt, so that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's that's pretty awesome. I, to be honest, I did not expect that. But it's pretty cool regardless. It's That's pretty awesome. There we go. That's our first animal. That is a little warthog right there. So that's pretty sick. We already found something. Now, I want to get a little bit closer. That's a tier 1 warthog with an uncommon fur variation. So we need to get a little bit closer and then take a shot. Obviously, I don't want to be taking a super, super long shot because I'm not very good at long range in this game. So we're going to do our best to get up to maybe like 100, 150 meters. And I think that should be all right. You know what? I can probably actually make this 200 meter shot right here. Smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. Also, I, I can't remember if I show this in a video or not, but we now have the 308. And the 308 has been doing very, very well. Really liking this rifle so far. It's been a powerhouse. There's more. Oh no, is it inside of that? I can't tell. Either it's inside the rock or behind the rock. I mean, the other one was just kind of laying on the rock, so I'm going to assume this one is probably stuck in it. Oh my gosh, there's multiple. There's multiple, and oh, oh my gosh, there's three of them. Oh, oh gosh, he dipped down. Evasive maneuvers, I suppose. Well, we got one more of them. Where'd they go? Oh. Attack? Sorry, buddy. Not today. Not today there, man. Not today. Let's see. What do we got there? Fur type legendary. Wait. Legendary? What? <laughs> wait. Wait. What? Oh my gosh. I think that's literally the best you can get. Oh, that thing looks cool, man. I, I thought it looked different than the others. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. We got a legendary. We got a legendary warthog, guys. What? Legendary. That is insane. 
That is insane, dude. A legendary warthog. I can't believe that. That's crazy. I think that literally is a, essentially the equivalent of a great one. I, I do believe. I believe that that is the equivalent of a great one in this game. Pretty much. Or a, a diamond. A diamond or a great one. You know, something like that. It's, it's like the best you can get. So that's actually pretty wild. That is very, very wild. What's that? Oh, no. Smoked him. Little dude did not stand a chance against me in my 308. <laughs> Let's see. What was this guy? I, I didn't actually look at what the fur was. This is a common right here. Okay, so we've got two uncommons, a common, and a legendary. Gosh, I still can't believe that. A freaking legendary. My first ever legendary fur type animal. That is super awesome. Well, we finally made it to the first tent. There we go. That should unlock it, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not unlocked yet. Th there we go. Now it's unlocked. So something that I noticed, and I may have missed it when I was reading the patch notes earlier, but there's these new wildlife habitat markers, and I believe that that actually is uh, places that you can find animals. So I think we're just going to go over to one of those and kind of see what happens. It seems like it would be the right move. So that's what we're going to do. Well, there's another warthog, but I'm going to be honest. I'm not going for that because I have spotted our first rabbits. Oh, I was able to. There we go. The African hare. That is a tier one common. So yeah, tier one common again. So they're not huge, but I haven't shot them yet. So I kind of want to go get a close up. Oh, no. I may have to shoot it if it tries to attack. Let's just get that. Oh, we unlocked hyenas. We unlocked hyenas. Oh, that's going to be cool to find. That's going to be super, super cool to find. You know, hyenas are something we desperately need in the Hunter Call of the Wild. We desperately need hyenas in that game. Because, you know, for some reason, we don't have them on Verhanga, even though I feel like it would have been, like, such a perfect fit. It would have been just such a perfect fit, man. But alas, we do not have them in Call of the Wild. Hopefully someday. Oh, no. I'm sorry, little buddy. Oh, what's that? Sorry, other little buddy. Ooh, that's a rare. Dude, That that's a full-on melanistic. Uh. Oh, my gosh. That's sick. Oh, that's so cool. Too bad I, I literally shot him right in the face. <laughs> oh, man. That's cool, man. That's really cool. The Warthogs do have some really cool looking furs. Like, the rare literally looks like a Melanistic. That is sick. So we have our Legendary there. We have our rare. We're doing good today. We're doing really good. And we have, you know, some Uncommons, Commons, that type of stuff. You know, nothing too crazy. But those... The, the, the legendary and the rare, that's just wild. I'm so happy with that. All right, where's the rabbits? Looks like we actually went over top of one. There it is. Uh-oh. It's going to say that sounds bad. That sounds bad, man. Another common. Jeez. Just coming out of nowhere to attack me. Yep, typical warthogs, though. Grumpy little fellers. And there we go, another rabbit. That one also a common. Kind of hard to see them because they look so tiny on the screen, but nice that we got a different animal down. You know, since this map just came out, we really need to kill as much of everything as we can, you know, just so we can get leveled up so we can unlock new animals because right now we only have four unlocked, and obviously we want to try and get much higher up there. Uh, it looks like, I mean, what is it? Is this like kill kill numbers? Do we need to get 15 to get the next animal? So once we get 100 kills on this map, we will unlock everything. At least I think that's what the different numbers on there mean. I assume that's what it is. So we need to get a lot more kills. That way we can unlock some of the crazy stuff like elephants, which is going to be super, super exciting. Yo, we've got another rare warthog. 
you know, we may just be getting lucky. Maybe a little bit too early to judge, but I, I'm starting to believe that maybe the Warthogs are uh, spawning the more rare fur types a little bit too often. That's two rares and a legendary already, and we just started. I mean, I've been recording for 18 minutes. That seems pretty wild. Although, you know, I could just be getting really, really lucky. I'll have to play more to find that out, but that was definitely really quick to get two rares and a legendary, man. Definitely quicker than I expected. Although, you know, with the rabbits, we've got two commons, so who knows? Maybe it's just a warthog thing. But there it is. There is our second rare. Beautiful. And that one we didn't uh, hit as poorly, so we can actually get a decent screenshot of it if I can line it up right. There we go. Beautiful. What? Is that a rabbit? <laughs> Come here, little bunny. I don't want to hurt you, I promise. Oh. And a warthog? I I guess everything's in front of us. Let's take it kind of slow, though. We don't want to spook them off if we rush in too quickly. <gasps> Crap. Got it. Got it. Got it. What else? Whew, okay, we got three of them. That looks different. Uncommon. Okay, never mind. It was not different at all. Uh, that was another rare, though. Ah! Stop it, little buddy! Oh my gosh, man! <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. Well... <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's kind of looking like... Yeah, the rares are spawning way too much for the Warthog. That is a lot of rares already. There's, there's no way that that is... Intentional. There's no way it's intentional. But hey, at the same time, I ain't complaining. It's gave us a, a chance to actually get to see all of the beautiful furs for those warthogs. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of the different variations that they've got for the warthogs. Super, super cool. Really a fan of it. You know, I gotta say, and I'm sure some of you that are that have never been a fan of the graphics of this game are probably not really gonna care too much. But I, I gotta say, the water on this map looks a whole lot better. Oh, that's a new animal. Oh my gosh, yes, that's a gazelle. But the water on this map looks a whole lot better than the water on the other maps. I don't know what it is, but this just looks nicer. Now, obviously, like, the, the game's graphics aren't, like, super insane, so it's going to be tough to make good-looking water. But this looks a whole lot better than the first two maps. So, that's awesome. It's good to see that the maps are improving every single time a new one releases. Like, you can actually tell that there is a... Oh, that's an epic. <sighs> <laughs> you can tell that there is a an actual increase in quality, which I appreciate that. Oh, that's a rare gazelle. Okay, which one of these do we need to shoot? Which is the epic? That's him. Crap! Oh, crap! Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Whew! Dude. These little guys are crazy. Like, they don't care about nothing. They just run in at you. They're like, screw this guy. Oh my gosh, that was an epic too. I see it's got like some type of... Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. It's, it's it's similar to a piebald, kind of. Like, it's got these little patches. Okay, that's kind of sick. That is definitely kind of sick. Uh, let's put this stuff up here. Oh, we have... There we go. Use that, because we need that food, man. Oh, that'll hurt me if I eat it, I think. Maybe not? Oh, it didn't, it didn't hurt me. What is it that actually hurts you? I think it's raw chicken. I think it's the raw chicken that hurts you, if I'm not mistaken. 
Well, that was pretty crazy. Just freaking attacked by warthogs like it's nothing. These little guys are crazy. Like, they will mess you up if you're not careful. Ooh, we got another one. That is a rare or uncommon, probably. Uncommon, okay. Reloading might be a helpful thing to do here. Nice, we're getting some gazelle down. Whoa. It got dark really quick. I gotta say that rare gazelle looks really good. Yeah, that looks a whole lot better than the uncommon one for sure. That That is pretty. That is pretty, man. I like that. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm definitely more impressed about this map than the other two maps. This one is just awesome. This is just an awesome little map, man. All right, we got to be extra careful. Warthogs were here. All the friends of the one that we shot were all around this area. I don't want to get booped by them. That is the epic right there. Beautiful. Didn't we? Yeah, we just killed one of these, so... That's pretty cool. We got it while it was sleeping as well, so... <laughs> what a way to wake up, am I right? <laughs> he wakes up and in the process never wakes up again. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. Well, let's go claim this thing. There's our little gazelle. I mean, it's kind of pretty. I, I like the rare more, but this one's kind of pretty too. I think so far the gazelle are my favorite animal. I, I really like the gazelle the most out of everything we've shot. But we still have hyenas, and what else have we unlocked? Ooh, oh my gosh, leopards. We unlocked leopards. Okay, so that's going to be awesome. That's going to be really awesome. We unlocked a new fast travel point here also. We have a wildlife habitat over there. Uh, we should probably go heal up first. So let's fast travel home. Also, I like the new sound for fast traveling because the old one was very loud. So I'm, I'm good to see that that's been changed. It's a little bit quieter now. Let's offload a bunch of stuff, get healed up, and yeah... We don't have too much in here because we sold a lot of it. Um, I noticed that we're not actually getting the colors on the background with these new animals. I'm going to assume that's probably a bug if I were to take a guess. If you guys didn't know, if you're new to watching this game, uh, it's a solo developer that makes this game. So I kind of expect, you know, a few things here and there to kind of slip through. Just because it's very difficult as a solo dev to actually, you know, get all the bugs weeded out of the game before releasing, you know? It's, uh, yeah, it, it's tough to get all the bugs out of a game, especially when you're a solo developer, you know? So I, I understand it. I get it. So I'm not too worried about little bugs here and there. But, you know, good thing that we're finding a lot of them. As I do know that, um... Uh, the dev for this game watches these videos, so hopefully we're able to, to weed out some of the issues that are popping up. Man, we need to save up and get one of these bad boys. There's some guns I've been really wanting to get. First of all, both the SKS and CAR-98 look sick. Same with the M110, the M4. Like, all those would be a lot of fun, I think. So I'd like to work my way up to those. But only time will tell what we will be able to do uh, what do we need to eat to heal up? I'm trying to remember exactly what we need to do. I mean, I think sleeping might help. Let me let me go sleep, and then we'll find that out. And the moment of truth. Let's go to 1035. Nah, it didn't heal us. Okay, so we actually do need to find something to eat to heal us. Now, I, I know for a fact mushrooms and stuff like that will work. Uh, we could go to one of the, the, bo the boabab trees, I believe. I, I think the boabab trees can... Uh, drop fruits that can heal us if I'm not mistaken I believe I saw that in the trailer for the for this update that would be very very nice let's get more ammo yeah we'll go with 48 stack those up now where is there's something I wanted to show you guys 
Where is it? Where is the tents? There it is. Tents. 500 credits. We're going to buy one of those because I want to set up some fast travel points. And this is how you do it is with these bad boys right here. So we're going to do that, man. We're going to set up a fast travel point whenever we find a really good hunting spot. Because that is going to save us a ton of time with like traveling around. But we also need to go find a boabab tree right now. Which I, I don't exactly know. Yeah, it looks like down by this fast travel, actually. I think this is the closest. Oh, this is, this is really cool. I like that. Whoa, we dropped down quite a ways, though. One of the trees is right over here. Is that it? It's 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 somewhere in this direction. All right, here we are. We're at the, the boabab tree. Let's get these down. These little fruits right here will give us hit points. So that is going to be nice. We'll actually be able to heal up a little bit. Curious how much one of them will give. That ain't bad, man. I mean, honestly, I should just get a bunch of these down. Because this will probably save me on more than one occasion. <laughs> so let's actually just stock up on them. Because now that we've unlocked the leopards, we need to be really, really, really careful. I missed. How did I miss that? Nice. <laughs> All right, let's pick up as many as we can. There we go. All right, that should be good for now. We got seven of them. That'll heal us up fully, plus have like a little bit extra. So we'll, we'll, we'll just go with that for now. Now let's go see if we can find some of the animals that we just unlocked. Dude, right as we fast travel. Got it. Okay. Not the animals we're looking for, but more warthogs is not a bad thing. Nothing super crazy, a little uncommon, and then uh, I think this was also a common or an uncommon. So I think at this point, this video is getting pretty long, so I'm not going to show like the claiming of every single animal from this point on. Uh, just the stuff that's rare or that we haven't killed before. Oh, gosh. Always with the warthogs, man. I can't do anything without getting shot up by a warthog. I was just shooting some common bunnies over there. And freaking warthogs, dude. Everywhere. I can't even hit that one. Rip. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Another one, dude. Another one. Oh, crap. Y'all need to chill out, bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> another epic, so that's nice. We got another epic one. Oh, no. Why more? Ah! They're everywhere. <laughs> what am I going to do, man? What am I going to do? I'm just getting attacked like crazy left and right. Just warthog, 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 warthog. <laughs> These warthogs are out of control. Ooh, a gazelle. No. Not a... You got to be kidding me. Yeah, how are there more of you? Oh my gosh, that was that was insanity. See now for the rabbits, I, every single one I've seen has been common, so I think they are actually you know spawning their fur types at a pretty good rate. Seems like the rare ones and uncommon ones and stuff are very tough to find for the rabbits. So I I definitely think the warthogs are bugged in some type of way. Oh, there's an uncommon. Okay, we got an uncommon finally. And that's an uncommon gazelle. All right. Well, we found one un uncommon rabbit out of all of them. <gasps> leopard! Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, who cares about the other stuff? We have a leopard right there. We got a leopard right there. Who cares about the gazelle? Who cares about the uncommon rabbit? Leopard in the distance. And a rare warthog as well. Here we see a wild leopard. In his natural habitat, walking towards a gazelle. 
He looks kind of tiny. But we still need to take him down and go check him out for ourselves. I'm curious. That, that did look kind of small. That model did look a little smaller than I expected for a leopard. Um, what is the biggest, like, normal leopards get? I know snow leopards aren't super huge, but how big do normal leopards get? I'm going to have to look that up. Ooh, we just unlocked the wildebeest. That's awesome. That's going to be a fun hunt. Okay, I guess I was completely wrong. It says males typically weigh 30.9 to 72 kgs, and this one that we just shot was like a 37 kg, so I stand corrected. That is the proper size for a leopard, actually. Believe it or not. So that's nice. Um, Wait, where is our leopard? Where... Where did it go? Am I like standing right next to it? Did I did I miss it? Is it I, I shot a rabbit over here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, man. Wow, that is beautiful. And that's just the common, like. Yeah, that's super cool. This might be my favorite animal so far on this map. That's super awesome. That's a beautiful model. Beautiful, man. That is sick. That is so sick. Ugh, not you guys again. Ugh, the warthogs never stop. They're everywhere. So many freaking warthogs. So many warthogs, man. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I think we have accomplished a lot of awesome stuff today. We managed to get our first leopard down. We got a legendary fur type warthog, which is the first legendary fur type I've ever got. And, you know, we unlocked a decent bit of new animals. We killed a good amount of animals. It looks like we've killed a total of 28, 35 animals. Not bad. 35 animals. We unlocked the zebra. Oh, I did not see that. We unlocked the zebra and the wildebeest. Well, I know what we're going for in the next episode. Zebra and wildebeest and hyena because we still haven't got one of those. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a fun video. Definitely my favorite map in Project Hunt as of now. This is awesome. And dude, another one. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this update and what you think of the the new map the new animals stuff like that i'll see you guys in the next one peace